Hello, my name is David Velasquez, and the purpose of this video is to submit an assignment to my big data class regarding uh, Hive or Impala environments. And so the first task would be uh, to upload a data set that was given to us. And so the data set is located here at uh, kegel.com. And so this is the data set that they're looking for us to work with. We would download it here onto uh, my laptop machine. And so from there, the next step would be to log into my Cloudera environment, which I am here. And so I would go to the browser in order to go to my uh, Hue environment. This is where we're gonna actually start um, uploading the file onto the HDFS system, as well as start querying with the Hive database. But before we do that, we need to actually upload the file that I just downloaded into my machine, upload it here onto the, the virtual machine. So to do that, we would go um, up here to this option, press upload. We would locate the actual file on my laptop, which is right here, and we would upload it. And so now that it's uploaded here onto the Cloudera platform, we have to find a way to upload it onto the HDFS system so that we could actually start running queries uh, with the Hive database. And so to do this, we would go to the file browser, right, which is actually this screen. And we would go into data. Right, which is right down here, I can't really see it, but it was the data. And then from here, we would press, uh, we would upload the file onto uh, this directory. And so once we do this, right? And so what I did was when I uploaded the file onto the uh, Cloudera environment, I uh, put it under the documents of my virtual machine. So it's right here, original data set. And so I would, uh, I would click and drag this onto the select files option. I already did it, so I won't do it again. And so once I do that, it'll be within the, um, the HDFS system. And, and so from here, I would um, go to data browser, meta store tables, and I would create a table from the file that I just uploaded onto um, the HDFS uh, system. And so I named it Cricket Matches, right? And it just kind of gives us some options here to toggle with. Um, here, I, um, in order to download the file onto the uh, HDFS system, right? We need to locate it within the virtual machine. So we would locate the file. Once we do, we upload it. And then um, we would just press next. It toggles us with some options. I already did it, but you basically upload it to the um, to the HDFS system. And from there, it gives us an option to uh, create a table, which we do. And once that happens, we go back to Metastore tables. And then once that table is created, it appears right here, right? table name, cricket matches. And so from here, we can see uh, the file that was uh, uploaded to the HDFS system. We can take a look at the attributes. We can see a sample of, uh, of the data set, as well as um, change the, uh, the data types, okay? And so once this part is done, that means that if you've made it this far, then it has been uploaded to the uh, HDFS uh, file system, which was uh, the first requirement here. And so once that's done, we actually start and we are enabled, we're able to uh, start querying that data with Hive that's within the HDFS um, file system. And so to do that, we go to Query Editors, we select the Hive, environment and so i've all i've already copied and pasted all the queries so i'll just kind of run them all by and so the first query is to um 
select the total number of ODIs played uh, during the time frame. And so let's run this query. Okay, so the results of the first query was uh, 3,932. So this is the total number of ODIs played during the, uh, the entire time frame of the data set. And now the second query is uh, the total number of teams. And so this was the query that was created. And so we'll run this one. And so the result from the second query of total number of teams uh, resulted in a number of 26. And so from here, the next query we will run is which teams won the most ODI during uh, the entire time frame of the data set. Okay, so uh, the result of running the third query uh, ended up being Australia. So Australia was the team that won the most ODIs during the time frame um, at 555. Okay, and then from there, we will run uh, which team won the most ODIs during the decade of 1971 and 1980. So we will... Uh, run this query. And so the results of this query uh, gave us that between this decade, England was uh, the team that won uh, the most with uh, 31 wins. And so from here, uh, the next query that we will run is the team that uh, won the most games between the decade of 1981 and 1980. So we'll run this query. Okay, so we see that um, within the years of 1981 and 1990, uh, the team that won the most games was the West Indies with 119. Okay, and so from here, uh, the next query would be which team won the most games between 1991 and the year 2000. And so this, the next query that we will run Okay, and so for this decade, the query uh, gave us a result back of uh, Pakistan being uh, the team that won the most games with 150 wins. Okay. Okay, and then from here, the uh, second to last query is which team won the most games between 2001 and 2010. So we'll run this one. So this query uh, resulted in Australia being the team that won the most games between 2001 and 2010 with 203 wins. And then finally, the uh, last query to run is going to be which team won the most games between 2011 and 2018. So we will run this query. Okay, so the final query uh, tells us that India was uh, the country or the team that won the most games between 2011 and 2018 with 105 wins. And so this concludes uh, the assignment. Uh, I thought it was a great one. I definitely learned a lot about um, virtual, the virtual machine, Cloudera, and the Hive environment. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.